just a little disclaimer here. I recorded this video Saturday night thinking that Kentucky Downs was going to run Sunday, but because of the weather, they had to cancel the card. So uh, basically, they're running this card on Tuesday, and it's going to be the same exact race order, same exact everything that would be normally run on Sunday, running Tuesday. So uh, just a like I said, a little disclaimer, if you just uh, pardon all those Sunday references and uh, enjoy the video. I think it's a good card from Kentucky Downs. So let's go back to Saturday night when I originally recorded this video and hopefully make some money. Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Kentucky Downs, hopefully here on Sunday. It is the 13th of September 2020. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program from Kentucky Downs, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and also join me this upcoming Friday for opening day from Belmont. It's good to uh, see New York racing return, so join me for that. But um, I say hopefully join me today for these Kentucky Downs races because the race that just went off from Kentucky Downs was the Kentucky uh, Turf Cup. And my God, the, the rain just keeps coming down more and more. So hopefully the turf course dries out en enough uh, into the uh, night, into the morning, so they can run this card. But um, let's look at the stakes races here on Sunday. Races 9 through 11, the late pick 3. The ninth race, it's the TVG Stakes, purse $500,000 races for Phillies Mayors, 3-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 6 horses going the distance of ground of 2,100 meters or the distance of ground of a mile 5 sixteenths on the turf of course one mile five sixteenths which is one lap around the main track uh turf course excuse me i don't know why they uh, have the wrong diagram in the racing form but it's the circumference or you know one trip around that track uh but the top selection here i'm going to take the three horse mississippi we'll go three two four five in the superfecta three two four five super top selection of three horse mississippi five-year-old mare by blame grand motion trains joel rosario gets the mount the horse's most recent outing came in the way at saratoga mile and a half august 8th first off the break the horse been a second by a neck sat back early had a very good trip just quickened up you know quickened up a little bit that day just wasn't a hundred percent fresh but she still ran her heart out there it wasn't the world's worst race Coming here second off the break, you know, to this racetrack, hopefully sing a little bit closer. I think she could really run a good race. Two back at Santa Anita on the 2nd of November, a mile and a quarter in the Breeze Cup Philly Mayor's uh, turf. The horse finished ninth by 11 and a half lengths and didn't break all that well and just never really got into it. You had to be close to the pace to win that weekend at Saratoga, and she definitely wasn't. And then before that, in the Flower Bowl at Belmont, a mile and a quarter, October the 6th, she finished second by three quarters in length. She really, you know, she didn't break all that well. She sat back early. There was a, good, you know, a really good rabbit that day for them. Um, but uh, she closed up well. Sister Charlie had the jump on her, but she ran a terrific race behind a very good mare. And then before that, the Glen Falls, Saratoga, mile three eights, August 31st. She finished, she won by three quarters length in her North America debut. She sat back early, had a great turn of foot, and she got the job done. It, it was an all around good race. You know, her races before then in Europe weren't half bad run, but something that does slightly, slightly scare me today. Some of her races on a little wetter ground haven't been the best, but hopefully dry, the ground dries out enough. And even money, I think she's a very likely winner. So to recap my selection for the ninth from Kentucky Downs, it's the TVG Stakes. Let's take the three horse Mississippi. We'll go three, two, four, five in the Superfecta. The tenth race from Kentucky Downs. It's the Untappable Stakes. Purse four hundred thousand dollars. Race for two-year-old fillies. We have a field of eleven horses going to the turf course again. The distance of ground of thirteen hundred meters, or the six and a half furlong trip on the turf course. Thirteen hundred meters, six and a half furlongs. My top selection, we're going to go with the number nine horse here. The number nine horse who is Mad Maddie will go 9 10 5 3 in the Superfecta. 9 10 5 3 Super. Top selection, nine horse Mad Maddie. This two year old flip by American Pharaoh. Steve Aspison trains. Ricardo Santana Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came 7th of August, Saratoga. Five and a half on the Mellon Turf course in the main special weight for 72,000. He finished second by half length. At every single start, he's getting closer and closer to the victory, but he's just not winning. He stalked that day. Um, you know, he had the lead, and it looked like it was going to win, but then he just kind of got caught late. He got a little exit his goal late. What can you do? He, he ran his heart out. That was his best race. Before that, Saratoga, five and a half on the melon in his turf debut in a main special weight, 72,000. Finishing second by two, one and three quarter lengths. He was with them early on, uh, but then he got caught by Outerdoor, who went on to win yesterday in the uh, Kentucky Downs in the uh, juvenile turf sprint very impressively. This horse, he got beat by a classier horse there, and then before that, at Churchill, five rounds on the dirt in a main special weight, 68,000. Finishing second by head. He didn't break that well. That day was very wide, and he just couldn't keep up late. The winner big time just had that big time finish. Uh, and then before that, his debut at, uh, at Churchill going four and a half. He needed the race for experience. Again, he was on the front end. He got caught late, but he didn't 
completely hit the wall. He's been training well at Saratoga at eight to one. Let's use him. Like I said, that Adador, you know, he ran terrific last time. And for this horse to be just with him, uh, you know, I expect highly from him. But to recap my selection for the tenth from Kentucky Downs, it's the untappable stakes. Let's take the nine horse Mad Maddie. We'll go nine, ten, five, three in the Superfecta. The nightcap, the eleventh race from Kentucky Downs. Now it's the Music City Stakes purse four hundred thousand dollars races for Phillies of three year olds here. We have a field of 16 horses entered, but only 12 again could go to the turf course, a distance of ground of 1,300 meters, or the distance of ground of 6.5 furlongs on this turf course, 1,300 meters, 6.5 furlongs. And <laughs> I don't know why they keep running these turf sprints at 6.5. They can run six furlong races, uh, so wh why? It was to run to the first turn, to the turn close. Uh, they are running that uh, turf sprint on Saturday at six furlongs. Why can't they run more of them at six, and not everything being 6.5? But that's for another day. Uh, my top selection, my best bet of the day, will be the 5 horse Nola Gay. We'll go 5 4 6 2 in the Super Facta. 5 4 6 2 Super. Top selection of 5 horse Nola Gay. 3 0 Philly by Uncle Mo. Shug McGay, he trains. Julian Lepreau gets the mount. The horse is most recent out of game. 16th of August, Saratoga. Ma 3 16th on the Melon and the Saratoga Oaks. And the horse finished 5th by 3 and a quarter lengths. And as the 1 to 2 favorite, just can stay the trip. He was with him early on, hit the wall completely late. It wasn't the day to win. Antoinette ran the race for life. Cutting back to six and a half with this horse is, you know, run her best races. I expect her to really run a lot better. Two back in the Appalachian at Keelan, one mile July the 11th. First off the break, the horse home by a nose was with them early on, had a great turn of foot, and she got the job done, being with some good quality horses home. And then before that at Aqueduct in November, six furlongs in the Stewart Manor. She finished fourth by four lengths there, and she was stupidly wide, coming from the back of the pack, not the best beginnings. You know, she closed up well late. You know, off of that race, she, she might have won a little longer, but but she still ran decently there. And then before that, her debut locally, six and a half main special weight. Guess what? She's a course and distance winner, winning by one and a half lengths. Again, she sat back early, slowly moved her way up, and she had enough left in the tank late. Keep in mind, it's two and third place, second and third place finishers out of that race, both one next start out. She's been training well, back to six and a half, drawn very well at nine to two, very logical winner, single in the multis. Best bet of the day. Set her again. My selection for the 11th from Kentucky Downs. It's the Music City Stakes. Let's take the 5 horse Enola Gay. We'll go 5 4 6 2 in the Superfecta. And my best bet, Enola Gay, single in the multi race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.